we're now looking at the back of the wild thing, right where the electronics will be mounted. And we need to pull off this little cap. You'll notice that there are two white marks. And that's because these three tabs are the same, but this fourth one is wider. So when you put it back in, you've got to line these up. So this is the head of the stud, or the machine screw that we were just looking at, where the caster is mounted. And this is 9 sixteenths here, or 9 sixteenths open end. This is the wild thing, upside down, with the rear facing us. And this is a long stud used for mounting the wheel. You'll find that in the box of accessories. You can see a little bit of the screw exposed there. I'll zoom in on that. I'm going to rotate this about eight or nine turns. So I'm going to grab my caster, the rear wheel, and I'm going to screw it in here. As soon as it catches, I'm going to leave it alone. And then I'm going to take some super glue just like that, and then give it a few more turns. So we have that right there. Sometimes this whole stud assembly comes loose and bends. It should be straight and firm. But sometimes we've got to retighten it. So this is a 9 16 inch socket, or you can use an open-ended wrench or a crescent wrench. Pliers don't work that well, though, for the head of the stud, which is here. Next, I take a pair of pliers, and I'm going to put it out to its far position for gripping larger things. And as I look down, down into the hole, and my pliers are going to take a grip like that. And then with a firm grip, take my wrench or my socket wrench, put it on the head of the stud right there, and tighten that as much as I can. Don't worry about over tightening. And that should make the stud tighter. Optionally, you could loosen that thread, put a little super glue on the threads, and then tighten, and that will keep it even more secure.